This is the part I've been waiting for. <laughs> Boy, that felt good. Uh, let's see now. Uh, first, the morning paper. Then, I think, a nice chilled bottle of milk before breakfast. Right about now. Uh, isn't life wonderful? Life stinks. A good day always begins with a good breakfast. Perfect treat. The perfect way to start the perfect day. Huh? It's empty. 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 And hey, what's going on? They're all empty. No one does this to Heathcliff. I'll teach that perfect treat cat food cannery to mess with me. Hey, Lloyd's worth it. Uh, he's clear. Oh, I'm a slider in the family made a boat turning. Hey, Heathcliff, what you doing? Slumming it? Well, if it isn't Hector Wordsworth and Mungo, the wonder nerds. That's no way to talk to your best friends. Get lost, loser. I got a beef. I got a beef with a cat food cannery. They just got a big mean hog of a dog. Wordsworth, I'm sure Heathcliff's not afraid of some little watchdog. But Hector, that ain't no little watchdog. That's a great big bulldog. Unless, of course, Heathcliff's chicken. <laughs> exactly what do you have in mind? And in your case, I chuckle when I use the word mind. Where the cat food is canned, felines are banned. A bet we can win is you can't get in. Yeah, if you win, we'll be your servants for a month. Uh, yeah. And if you lose, uh, we'll be your servants. <laughs> no, Einstein. If Heathcliff loses, he serves us breakfast in bed for a month. Deal? I don't know what I'll do with three incompetent servants, but uh, you suckers got a deal. But, boss, you forgot to tell him about Brahma, the cannery dog who makes you cry for mama. Ouch! Yeah! In case I forgot to introduce myself, I'm Brahma, the watchdog. And if you come back in here, you'll be nothing but an orange spot on the floor. Now stay out! We usually have breakfast at 8. Fresh fish would be nice. Uh, maybe we should have breakfast at 8, boss. Maybe 30... Oh. Uh, maybe we should have breakfast at 8.30, boss. <laughs> nice work, Brahma. If there's one thing we don't need in a cat food cannery, it's cats. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> No two-bit watchdog is gonna make a chump out of me. <laughs> My little fire extinguisher burglar alarm will cool that crazy cat. <laughs> Now, about breakfast, I was thinking 7.30 might be better. What's going on here? Looks like I was wrong about you. How would you like to be our new watch cat? 
All the cat food you can eat. Grandma, you're fired. You'll get your severance steak in the mail. I can't have a watchdog who's beaten by a cat. Now out. Now come in the back way and take that cat by surprise. Look up below! <laughs> Nothing like a nice, cheery fire to brighten your day. I gotta get back in there. The mail spot. That gives me an idea. This package disguise will get me in the cannery for sure. Hmm. Mailman must have forgot this one. Well, that's it for the day. You're in charge till morning. See that no one gets in. Boys, boys, let's have a little peace and quiet. Huh? Uh-oh. Where's that cat? I got a bone to pick with him. Here, bully, bully. Here, bully, bully. Bully! Oh, 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 the shower, smelling like a flower. <laughs> Gee, that was fun. Can I do it again, boss? <laughs> Give it up, cat. I'm gonna pulverize ya. <laughs> Some people sure know how to ruin a guy's dinner. Can he take a hint? <laughs> MG, if I know Heathcliff, I'd better get to the cannery fast before he wrecks the place. Can I help you, son? I was afraid everyone had gone for the day. You're lucky I forgot my lunchbox. What can I do for you? It's these empty cans of cat food. I'm really sorry about that. Don't you worry, we'll make it good. Here, a free case of cat food. Gee, thanks. Huh? Gee! Okay. Who's responsible for this? Show yourself! <laughs> Just as I thought. You'll work all night. Now start cleaning. Now get going! <laughs> oh boy, that felt good. Hmm. Let's see now. Yeah. Milk. Very good. And my uh, paper? Oh, uh, your morning paper, sir. Uh, good. <laughs> uh, gee, boss, this is fun. Can we do this again tomorrow? Uh, I'm too tired to bop him one. Uh, allow me. Oh, gee, why'd he do that, boss? Don't you hate days that start like this? Stick with me, gang. I'm just getting warmed up. <laughs> now back to Heathcliff. 
When your dog is old, you can't push him too hard, especially if he's overweight. Are you calling me fat? Hey, uh, relax, old fella. Your old dog needs regular exercise, uh, but remember not to make him run, jump, and play like he used to. The best idea is to take your older dog for short, easy walks. Here, let's go, old boy.